Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. And what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to power m minus n. This is the same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. This here is the same thing as a raised to power x over a raised to power 1 equals to 80 from here. Then we can write this as 8 raised to the power of x over 8 raised to the power of 1, that's 8. Then equals to, here yeah, we can write this as 80 over 1. The next step here, we cross multiply. That is 8 raised to the power x times 1, same thing as 8 raised to the power x, then equals to 80 times 8 on this side. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. But this here we have log a raised to the power of x equals to log 80 times 8 here. Then, next step here, we apply the power of log n. When we have log m raised to the power of p, this is the same thing as p log m. But this here, this becomes x log 8 equals to log 80 times 8 here. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8, which implies here, log 8 cancel each other. We have x equals to log 80 times 8 over log 8. Then, next step here, we apply the log logarithm when we have log a times b. This same thing as log a plus log b. At this here, we have x equals to log 80 plus log 8 over log 8. Then here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 80 over log 8 plus log 8 over log 8. Then here, we have log 8 cancelled each other. One left here, that is x equals to log 80 over log 8 plus 1. The next step here, also 80 can be written as 8 times 10, which implies all we have becomes x equals to log 8 times 10 over log 8 plus 1. Then this also follows the law of logarithm. When we have this becomes x equals to log 8 plus log 10 over log 8 plus 1. Then here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 10 over log 8 plus 1. Then, next step here, we have log 8 cancel each other, 1 left here, that is x equals to 1 plus 1 plus log 10 over log 8. Then, here, this becomes x equals to 1 plus 1, that's 2, plus log 10 over log 8. Then, also here, we can write 10 as 2 times 5. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to 2 plus log 2 times 5 over log 8. 
then yeah this also follows the law of log ring and we have x equals to 2 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 8 then here we separate this into two fractions that is we have x equals to 2 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8 then next step here we can write it as 2 times 2 times 2 that's 2 cube that is what we have becomes x equals to 2 plus log 2 over log 2 cube plus log 5 over log 2 cube that is here we apply the power of logarithm 3 comes there and also here and we have x equals to 2 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 5 over 3 log 2 then here also log 2 cancelled each other we have x equals to 2 plus 1 over 3 left here plus also here we have 1 over 3 times log 5 over log 2 that is here we have 2 plus 1 over 3 same thing as 2 whole number 1 over 3 which can be written as 7 over 3 that is here we have x equals to 7 over 3 plus 1 over 3 multiplied by log 5 is 2 when we apply change of this here that is here we bring this together as one fraction and we have x equals to the SCM here that's 3 here we have 7 plus log 5 is 2 that is the value of x here we have 7 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3 then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 7 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 7 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 then minus 1 here is it equals to 80 on this side that is Next step here, we bring this part together as one, this one over one. That is, we have 8 raised to the power SCM here, that's 3. Then here we have 7 plus log 5 is 2 minus 3 here now. Is it equals to 80 on this side? Then here, 7 minus 3, that's 4. We have 8 raised to the power 4 plus log 5 is 2. Is it equals to as over 3? Is it equals to 80 on this side? Then we can write 8 as 2 raised to the power 3. It is raised to the power 4 plus log 5 is 2 over 3. Is it equals to 80 on this side? And this power multiplies 3 here cancel each other. We have 2 raised to the power 4 plus log 5 base 2. Is it equals to 80 from here? And this follows the law of indices. When we have a raised to power n plus n, this is same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. This here we have 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2. Is it equals to 80 on this side? And 2 raised to power 4, 2 multiplied 7 4 times that's 16 times. This follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b that is the same thing as 5 is it equals to 80 on this side and of course 16 times 5 as 80 which is equals to 80 from here left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that 
That's equals to 7 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to save. subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next lesson. Bye for now.